Hi there and welcome to Rate My Cigar. We're going to be doing a general discussion video um, just past the time why me and Chuck enjoy our cigars that we're doing a review on as well. So what are you smoking Darren? A cigar. <laughs> oh dear. Doesn't get old does it? <laughs> to know. Yeah unlike Darren it doesn't get old. We're smoking a Florida Rafael Gonzalez. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so I was trying to sort of think what we should do on this video, what should we talk about, stuff like that. And um, the conclusion is? I still don't know. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> what a gun. <laughs> He's like, come on, come in and do this video. I'm like, alright, sweet. I've got so a couple come in, of ideas. sit down. Right, what are we talk about? I've got a couple of ideas. So, three, two, so, um, general th general thought was, um, see, I've got a, a nice collection of scars growing at the moment, but what are your thoughts of future prices and where the, everything's going? That is quite a broad question. I mean, where do I think it's all going? Uh, up in smoke. Yeah, up in smoke, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, at the moment, the price is definitely going in the wrong direction, and I cannot see it changing anytime soon. I mean, there's been crops destroyed, supposedly. There's Fires. been warehouses burnt down. Uh, and the yeah. food shortage is over there as well. Yep. So Cuba is in a bit of bother, but it doesn't stop them putting the prices up, and the, the availability is very scarce now. They can't keep up with demand. Even Although, with, on our last trip we went on, everywhere was fully stocked. No, they weren't. That's not fully stocked to what it was before all this shortages and everything. Okay, let's do that bit again then. Should we do a joke on film for you? No, I thought we'd do a video off film. No, I said a joke on film. Right. How can you tell Darren has a dog? Do you know what the answer is? <laughs> I thought you'd like that. So, three, two. <laughs> oh, God, that was funny as fuck. It's not really appropriate for the viewers. Oh, God, that's so funny, though. <laughs> no, because. Oh, you know, it's dog, it's got a double gut there. <laughs> Peanut butter. It's my dad's. No mine. two parts, even worse, mate. <laughs> no two pack, no. Two pack? Oh, come on. Finn? No, Tupac, no. Who's that? <laughs> hey, I just said on camera, I said, I said, uh, oh, I said, do you want me to tell you a joke on camera? Dan goes, right. I, said, I said, how can you tell Darren's got a dog? And Dan goes, I don't know. And I just went. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm trying to do a video, yeah? That's all right. It's a different type of video, this one. It's a special. So I, I, I've sort of, I've been thinking about this occasionally because what I'm trying to work out is, do I stock up even more? So let's say I've got enough cigars to last me, say two years, and I want to age some as well. So buying more, add to my collection is a good idea. But- Well, my instant thought on that, before you go any further, my instant thought is the prices aren't going to come down. Mm -hmm. So by buying later, you A, be spending more money, and B, have cigars which aren't aged. If you buy sooner, you'll have cheaper cigars and have cigars which are aged. So it is worth stocking up? Yeah, for sure, definitely, okay. I think. At the end of the day, it's like any commodity in life, like nothing really comes down in price. But, it hasn't done for years and years and years and years. But, look at it like this. When you buy some new worlds, they don't, they're not that good aged. Yeah, very true. So I think it's yeah, a question some of... taste better fresh than they do aged, which yeah. sounds ridiculous. I mean, those Fuente, um, well, they King something or other, weren't they? Oh, Chate uh, King T Chateau Fuentes. Yours had a lot of age on it, and that was good. Mm. Um, yeah, I remember that making quite a good difference, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Um, now, Cubans, can't go wrong right aging a Cuban. No, definitely not. Um, but some of the other new worlds, I'm not sure on. So. If you're going to stock up with Cubans, great, get it, get it done. 
New Worlds, look into it, research it. Yeah. Um, because I have got, I did have a couple of um, New Worlds that I bought a long time ago and they weren't that great after being aged. Or but it could just could be, be the fact that you are now smoking Cubans and you've gone off smoking New Worlds. That other than be. Archer and yeah. Fuente. But there's no way of finding this out. Yeah. But yeah, I just wonder what sort of prices do you reckon they're going to be? Say 2030. That's six years. 2030, they won't be for sale. Cubans? I don't. In six years' time. Cigars in the UK, I do not think will be for sale in six years' time. Look at all the tobacco restrictions at the moment. They're trying to quit everyone smoking. They're putting in, they're trying to put a law in that anyone born after a certain year cannot buy any cigarettes, for starters. Um, um, the problem uh, is, Canada's done I that. read, I, I'm aware, yeah, there's, there's a couple of countries that have done it already. Yeah. But I also read, um, they've done a study and basically a lot of the young people now um they because uh, sort of like normal tobacco and cigarettes are so heavily regulated they're switching from cigarettes to pipe tobacco and cigars now if that does happen a there's gonna be much heavier restrictions on pipe tobacco and cigars b our channel may get popular <laughs> Very much so, yeah. seriously so b Put me off what I was going to say then. Oh, I apologise. <laughs> no worries at all. Yeah, so the, at the end of the day, there, there's going to be so many heavy restrictions on it, and B, they'll end up phasing out like they're going to do cigarettes because at the end of the day, they don't. What, in want six it. years, you think? Well they're, well, they're already putting in the cigarettes. So if that's coming in within the next year or so, then I hate to say it, six years is a long time. Mm. If they could put that in within a few months of talking about it. It'd be it. interesting to see what other people's thoughts on that would be. Hopefully, I've got enough stock then that I won't really care, to be honest. You haven't got six, worth of, six years worth of cigars. <sighs> Depends on how much longer we do this channel for. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, this is our third cigar this evening. True. I mean, I... Yeah. yeah, three three times four. Three times four? Times 12, yeah. Why three times four times 12? 12 times four times 12. How many are you smoking a year? Mm. So we can three, three in an evening. Oh, that's 150 once a, a week. year. 150 a year. So that's 150 a year. So um, six years, that mm. is normally 750. So the last. So how many cigars have you got? We don't always say three in the evening anyway. It's normally no. two. Probably one or two, yeah, exactly. Um, so it's still 100 cigars a year. Um, 10 years, 1,000 cigars. I haven't got enough. <laughs> Everyone needs to buy 10,000 cigars by the seems of it. See, when you, when you look at it like that, I mean, if I've got a thousand cigars and I'm smoking, you know, a couple of week, that's 10 years, a thousand cigars. And let's say the cigar costs, so buy them from the UK, and let's say, look at my Cuban list, the average price is say 45 pound, because I buy some below, some 45 and some more. So 45 pounds times a hundred, sorry, times a thousand. <coughs> it's normally £45,000. Quite a severe amount of money. £45,000 which can cost to stock up with cigars. I wish you have to break into a pillowcase again. A pillowcase? More as <laughs> the house. Um, yeah, just... The thing is, I know, I know people who smoke like 8 to 10 a day. Really? Who yeah. smokes that? I'm not going to say it out on, uh, on the channel, but I know someone who smokes at least 8 to 10 every day. What type of cigars? Cubans. Yep. Is it who I think it is? Nope. Potentially smoking eight, did you say, your day? Yeah, eight, eight, eight odd Cubans a day. I was speaking to him in the evening and he'll send me, I don't know, five or six pictures of him for the evening having a cigar. <coughs> he finishes the cigar and starts the next one. It's horrendous. <sighs> sounds awesome. Yeah, it sounds expensive. Docking up. What have you got planned? What would you like to do? What, what have do you I got want planned? to do? Um, to be honest, I mean, what I would like to stock up on 
is what we've got in our favourite cigars of all time video. <laughs> I would happily stock up on boxes of those. Uh, boxes of Rafael Gonzalez for cheap smokes, quick smokes, morning smokes, whatever. Um, How about Quinteros, would they be Quinteros? there? Quinteros? Absolutely. Yeah, they're really good to be so honest. So I just had a message from somebody asking what I was smoking and he sends me a picture on my phone and he's got a Quintero. And that, so honest, that like, guy I, is a Cuban smoker through and through yep. um, and he He's just found but I get it. Yeah, I, I get it. I totally get it. At the end of the day, they're so cheap. If you buy them in the right places, ridiculously cheap. Mm. And like, <laughs> they're tasty. I mean, they, they taste like a Cuban cigar. Like, yes, okay, it's not long filler, it's short filler, but I mean, they're a good, cheap Cuban cigar. You can't argue that at all. Mm. Definitely not. See, there are a couple of other cheap Cubans as well that we haven't done on the channel, and I've got, got them in there. Which ones? Um... Which, which ones. ones? Oh, the ones with tobaccos in them. In the green boxes. In the green boxes. Florida somewhere. Florida, Florida Cano, Florida. Florida Cano. Florida Cano. Yeah, I think it's Florida Cano. Yeah. Um, let me have a look now. But um, I've actually got a regional Florida Cano, which I found the other day. Yeah. Where's I've actually forgotten I had it. I had, a, I had a separate tupper door which was sat in uh, a cupboard of mine which I completely forgot about. I put it there about two years ago and I found it the other day when I was clearing out stuff and I went, oh, I've got a box of about seven, six, eight, well, there you go. ten cigars. That one there. Okay, yeah. Now those are about £25 in the UK. Yeah. Um, in Europe, they are under €10. Euros. Under €10. Cheap euros. Stick. Um, in fact, they're cheaper than these. Wow. Um, but what's the flavour like? I haven't had one for over a year. Okay, so not but, very bad but, to say. But um, I, I think they're actually not bad for the price. Okay. You, you know, you've, you've got to put it into perspective, haven't you? I mean, there's my favourite cigar is £70 to buy in the UK. It's like 35 40 quid in Europe, yeah. whatever it is. <clears throat> so half the price. So when you look at how much that is, it's a massive difference. It's like literally under a third of the price. Yeah. Close to quarter. So is the scar I prefer four times the bet is four times better? Probably. <laughs> but I don't know, can but can you afford to smoke forty pound sticks all the time? If you're buying them, I can do that. I, will, I would do. I would honestly help you out. If thank you, you. No, thank you very but much. But no, I can't. I can't afford to do that. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, even though it's my favourite cigar I've ever had, you know, and I bought some, I literally had two. I, yeah. You know, I've only had a couple. And we are going to do one on the channel because you want us to try one. Yeah. Because it's just, it's so much money. And realistically, you know, I don't... I was going to say shit money then. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't have unlimited supply, unlimited supply of money, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been selling assets to build up my cigar collection because I yeah. enjoy this. This is, a, this is a hobby I would like to do, you know, for the next 10, 20 years. But, um, you know, I mean, look at the, look at the Cohiba, um, the BK56. The yeah. K fifty six. I remember when they were cheap, and I, <laughs> I haven't been to scars for that long. And they've gone crazy. Yeah, they're, 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 I think they're 550 five fifty, six hundred quid now. Wow. Each, each box of ten, five and a half grand. Wow. You know, and yeah, I've got some of those in my collection, but I got them at a very good price, and uh, they're that expensive that I just I can't bring myself to smoke them. Yeah. But when I retire, one of them is marked for that. You know, at least <clears throat> that was a, 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 that cigar has a purpose for me. Yeah. <clears throat> but just to crack one open because it's Christmas or New Year, that's it's too much. It's too much. It's got to be some proper special occasion cigar that is. And I have got some other Cohiba in there that you know are like four hundred pounds a cigar. They're a proper special occasional cigar. Yeah. But I like the idea potentially, you know, 
my cigar collection, I will just smoke them for the rest of my life and then it will just be passed on to the kids. You know, and then the mums can moan at me for uh, <laughs> giving them cigars. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> what? Oh, dear. Yeah, when I, when I die, I'm going to pass all my cigars to children. <laughs> They won't be children, will oh, they? Know. I'll change that bit. You can drop them off at the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, at least then the mum's coming to at you. I'm changing my own of it. Hey, at least then the mum's coming to at you. So I'm just going to build up my collection of cigars and later on I'm going to smoke them throughout the rest of my life. And then, you know, and when I die, if I've got loads left over, I'll leave them to like children in need or something. That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, you help the children. Yeah, then the mums can't complain at you. That's right. <laughs> um, but no, on a serious note, yeah, that's... Oh God, you can't leave that in there. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, on a serious note, I'm not going to leave them short need. I'm going to take them down to St Bernard's. <laughs> With Coaba, I have got some five-year aged Salamans in there. Very nice. The, um, I quite like the Davinos as well. The Davinos. Very Davinos. good, quick, quick yeah, smoke. Very small. Smoke. Ben likes those. Yeah. He does like those. For good reason as well. Um, he can't cut them in half to have two though. <laughs> it's the wrong shape for starters. <laughs> um, let's think. Um, I've got Exclavidias. I can't think of those. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got some of those as well. Um, they're quite good. Um, and they've gone up, they've gone up about 20% this year in price. Really? Yeah already wow. um i'm trying to think what other brands there are some cheap brands like that there yeah rafael gonzalez um yeah. and what is the is it the something the king what's the king cuban somebody put it on our comments oh uh, choice supreme yes i'll raid on monday choice that's supreme. it yeah. those there very, i managed to get a box well. of those I'd, 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 happy, I'd happy buy some of those definitely yeah yeah they i mean I think with me, it's going to be the case because of the prices of everything, they've gone up. Um, I think if I was to split my humidor in hot into four sections, I would have the first section being a quarter of the humidor with cigars, the low end prices, the less common stuff like the Choice Supremes, um, the what are they call it, Gonzales, Gonzales yeah. Quintero, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, the cheap cigars, then then another quarter of the 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 nice, you know, a mixture of like everything from that I've got from the um the beer the BKs right through to the you know, anything over like fifty the pounds. Super aged Hoyos and yeah, yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of stuff. Then you're left with half the humidor and that you just split up <clears throat> split up between probably a quarter of it to be new world you know things yeah, like the super and, fuentes yeah. and stuff like that you know the um the amazons and stuff like that yeah um and that's then, another thing i'd have yeah see amazons would take a definite spot for sure yeah whenever i fancy a bowl of smoke i always go for one of those definitely. see when i want a bowl bowl of smoke i like smoking those um part of gas those um the maduro ones maduro yeah or Maduro. Maduro. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, they, they are good cigars. You need to try that yeah. cigar. You need to try that cigar. Um, I've just got it in my head, it's going to be meaty. It is. I know, I, that's why I keep telling like, you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but it's, it's a very good cigar. It's, it's, yeah, it's just a very good cigar. Um, and I don't think it's that popular here in the UK. Yeah. Um, and it's probably something as simple as they don't bring boxes of them over here, that many boxes. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, that's where I really am on it, really. Um, and then you just got like, the Epi 2s, the E2s, you know, the P2s, the, you know, and different Montes. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's where I am, really. I'd like to age probably quite a few of the boxes I've got. And because they do taste very good. Yeah. And you, you can't, you're not going to be able to buy aged cigars very easy nowadays with the way everyone's buying them. Because I think people are stockpiling them. About oh, 100%, definitely, um, definitely. Because when you look at, like just people that you speak to, I mean, I sent you, showed you the photo of the guy that sent me a picture of, he's just bought a new humidor, and it's, 
it's literally what you say, 15 boxes? In there? Yeah, probably 15. Yeah, he's got about 15 there. boxes in there. He's not a rich guy, you know, really nice guy. He's just, you know, a normal guy. He works, you know, he's got a partner, you know, he's got a normal car, and, you know, and he's, he's stocking them up to age and to create a collection. I don't think that was happening so much before lockdown. Yeah. I think more lockdown, people were buying. Things are a lot more readily available back then as well. Yeah. yeah. So the times have changed, I think, or I would imagine. Um, but yeah, but that's that's really where I am. I mean, do you want to get? Because you've got three, haven't you, humidors? Yeah. Um, and these are cabinets, you know. Like wine fridges, effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Would you Would you want to upgrade like I've done? Yeah, eventually. And what would you be upgrading to? One of those. Okay. <laughs> Bear in mind that cabinet stands about six foot tall. It's a bit taller than that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, I can't yeah, believe how big it is inside. Yeah, the funniest thing is, when Darren had the smaller humidors, they, you, they were like chocker and you think, oh, there's loads in there. And you put them in a big cabinet and you look at it and you're like, it doesn't even look like there's that many in there. <laughs> it's been like absolutely dwarfed. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, See if the cigars are already available, I don't think that we we would have, we would stock up as much as we are. Yeah. Um, and it's almost like Cuba is purposely not sending the cigars out, so to create this artificial pump of buying. I yeah. Yeah, it feels like they are. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are. The but thing is, as soon as they go into the stores, they hoof it up all of them. China's buying loads at the moment, like a yeah. lot. Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, China's a huge I mean, there's market. shops that I've been into, and I do go in there every time I go over there, and, you know, the guy behind the counter, he's like, hello, how are you doing? You know, I mean, he said, how was your back today? And I'm like, oh, it's good, you know. And he's a nice guy. And um, I've chatted to him before, and it, I've been talking to him, and you get a couple of Chinese guys come in, and he's like, no, not buying anything, go away. Like this. And I'm like, okay and he said no they, these two keep coming in and buying everything i'm not having it I'm like, <laughs> all right okay wow and i'm sort of sitting thinking will i come in here reasonably regularly i mean are you gonna tell me to go away soon but he hasn't done um but Thankfully. obviously obviously i'm buying for my own use um yeah. they're they're buying to is it sell in china and whatever yeah, else essentially yeah. um but yeah it's it's very strange but um, the prices and stuff, I've noticed, well, especially the Fuentes alone. Yeah, they've you know, doubled in price, yeah. And the, um, oh, what are they called? T52s and the, yeah. the number nines. I remember they were eight pound each. I think, I don't remember them being that. I think when we were buying them, I think they were 11, 11, 11, 11 euros, yeah. But back then with the exchange rate, it was like eight pounds, seven was it? each or something, yeah. Was it that little? Yeah. Jesus. That's what I mean, this is like back at the beginning. Well, beginning of my journey, anyway. And um, back then we were like, "Oh, we can't smoke one of these every week." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like under ten pounds a stick. Yeah, and it's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, like, really, that's like where we're at. Really, um, I'm going to keep collecting. I know you're going to keep collecting. Mm. Hopefully, end up with a really nice selection of cigars at some stage soon. But mm. yeah, we'll have to do a video soon and show you some of the boxes and collection and stuff like that. So we'll update that at some stage. Um, as always, obviously, we'll wrap it up there. So thank you very much for all your continued support. Obviously, all your likes, comments, everyone subscribing. Obviously, done really well at helping us grow the channel. So thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I say if you've made it this far and you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. And obviously, drop us a comment in the box below. Um, all of our Hearth videos we do where we sort of chat with you guys, chat about your comments. Obviously, if you do put a comment in the box below, we will most likely be reading it out. So uh, yeah, drop us a message and we shall see you on the next one. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.